We've talked about this before on previous episodes yeah. and so, to some degree, but maybe just like a quick refresher on what actually happens to your body when you do warm yeah. up. Lar largely, it's it's about warming the muscle and warming the blood. I mean, so, that's that's huh. that's largely it. I mean, there might be a neuromuscular component if you know you're if you're doing a really short event. If it's going to open with a really hard effort, I can see doing some eight to ten second sprints mm -hmm. where you recover well in between. Maybe do two, just a very small handful of those, two or three of those. Mm -hmm. But for the most part, it's just about getting on. In, in, let's use the bike, getting on the bike and spinning at, at a low level and raising that level over the course of the warm up. Mm -hmm. I, I I think people overthink and vastly prolong their warmups. They're yes. doing way too much work prior to a race. I mean, if you're warming up for more than 30 minutes, way too much. If you're warming up more than 20 minutes, probably too much. Yep. 20 minutes, get on there, start at a low pace, gradually bring it up. Everything you need to achieve with a warm up is probably accomplished with something as simple as that. So what happens when you warm up the blood, like or and the muscle? Like what's the what? What are the mechanical things that happen? Basically, it's oxygen results? transport. So so that whole uh, oxygen hemoglobin dissociation curve certain things change how how hard your blood holds on to oxygen or the hemoglobin holds on to oxygen a lot of things alter that one of them is temperature so as you raise your temperature we talked about the q10 effect mm -hmm. last week as you raise your temperature there's a big change in how rapidly or readily the hemoglobin or your blood to be less specific lets go of the oxygen so that your muscles can use it to fuel fuel work i mean it doesn't pick it up as strongly as well but we're still we come so much more oxygen gets returned and doesn't get used anyway. We don't mm -hmm. need all of it that, that's coming in. So I the do. fact is, <laughs> the fact is, you just need to just need to warm up in a general sense. Yes. Don't overthink it and definitely don't overdo it. So many people spend so much of what they could use in their race by doing a prolonged, protracted, excessive warm up. I used to be. I used to go way too deep into warm ups and and, and that was, that's what people told you. I mean, yes. you see the pro riders who warm up for an hour for uh -huh. an hour long criterium or mm -hmm. ninety minute criterium. Yeah, hours hours all like. 20, 30. They can tolerate it better yeah. for sure. So it's easier for them to lose sight of what's actually happening, that they're probably just hemorrhaging uh, yeah. energy, energy that could be better channeled. Yep. My warm ups now take 20 minutes. So it's that's I, all I do anymore. And yep. I'm, I'm not, I know I'm not the best example because I'm not riding a lot right now, but toward, toward the end of last season and, and most of that season, that's all I was doing with general 20 minute warm ups. And even at district time trial or 40K TT, where I was in good enough shape to where it would have mattered. Mm -hmm. All I did was a 20 minute general warm up. I spin at, I start in between 60 and 70% FTP for 10 minutes and I just stay within there. Mm -hmm. And for those that are, don't have that point of reference, that's pretty, I mean, it's not like you're just soft pedaling, but it's also not like you're putting anything really tough into the pedals. I'm at not all. entirely sure why you would need to go above your intended race pace. Yep. So for a 40 K TT, if you know, you're going to ride at this wattage or at this speed go out and do that by the end yeah. of your warm up, you, you should have achieved that for a few minutes. Yep. I spin like that for 10 minutes. And then after that, every minute I step it up until, uh, I step it up. Usually it's like 20 Watts roughly with my threshold that works out. I step it up 20 Watts until I get to my threshold. And in most cases, all of my races are, they require intensities over threshold for repeated uh, bouts, that mm -hmm. sort of a thing. So then at that point I go over my threshold for a minute. And then after that, I finish it with a quick 15 yeah. second little sprint. And there's something to be said with, with the subjectivity of this too, in terms of how it benefits you psychologically. If there's yes. something you do that's a, that's a small modification, like what you're describing right here, that gets you in the right headspace, I'm all for it. Mm -hmm. But again, I don't think it needs to be longer than 20 minutes, 30 minutes at the very, very high end. Yeah. It ends up being 20 minutes for me. And that includes like five minutes of spinning down. Right. And that, that gets me to where I need to be. And the big thing, like you said, for me is psychologically speaking, I find that Anytime I get back on my bike, RPE is off, right? And I'm like, uh, two, uh, the threshold feels really hard right now when I first do it at the first point, first time of the day, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So, in, uh, but once I get a you know a minute, a couple minutes into that, then I'm like, oh, okay, it's not that bad. Never mind, you know, yeah. I can do it. And that right there's a, a strong selling point for it. Definitely doing a warm up mm -hmm. rather than just showing up cold. Although I've seen plenty of racers show up cold and have <laughs> very good races. Yep. What about for uh, road races? So I'm, yeah. I'm about to do an 86 mm -hmm. mile road race. In the heat, I would never warm up. For something I would like warm up. First off, the temperature mm -hmm. is a big concern. Secondly, mm -hmm. why do you need to be particularly warm for the opening twenty miles of an eighty-mile race? That's probably going to see a whole lot of mm -hmm. nothing. Chances are, it's going to roll out pretty easy, relatively speaking, especially with that heat. In, gonna, unless, well, it you, starts at eight a.m., so it's going to get hotter. 
Okay. In the morning, it'll, it it'll probably be okay. But if you want to be part of the early break, I could see doing a 10 or 20 minute warm up. 70 mile break. Oh, yeah. Well, <laughs> 80 mile break. It works. Yeah. It can work. Yeah. It but, really uh, comes. That'd like be the said. only reason I'd, I'd, I'd even warm up for something like that is if I were going to be or intended to be in the early break. Comes down to how you plan to race it as well, right? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, but chances are that's not going to be the case. I am not going to warm up at Leadville. So. <laughs> Yeah, there's no point. <laughs> Do people no. warm up at Leadville? Oh, yeah, uh, saw it last oh. year. Yeah, people, oh, there was yeah, a guy on rollers last mm -hmm. year. I remember yeah. that. Mm -hmm. He was Understand planning on that. lighting it up mile one. Yeah, so, especially, <laughs> well, Leadville, too, like, your, to go. <laughs> your pace. No, like, this is a good point, because your pace at Leadville is probably going to be your warm-up pace or less. Yeah. Yes. You know what I mean? So there's yep. no real point. There's no point. There's, yeah. That You're again, not going to be accomplishing just, anything. Yeah, what's your working based on bad past information. What's your... Power target for the flats? Uh, power target for the flats is 200 and like, well, I gave myself a window, 220 to 230. Really? Yeah. That high? Yeah. That's too high. You think so? I think Maybe. It's fine. I don't know. Maybe not. Right. No, fine. no, you're right. Because no. yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm thinking some, yeah. yeah I, I think I'm thinking my normalized power for the whole race. Oh, yeah. No, it'll be lower. My normalized power is going to be like 180, probably. And what's your climbing power? Uh, climbing power is going to be around 240. Somewhere no, around just, there. Okay, so just maybe a, higher. Yeah, 240. Yeah. I would maybe 210, 200 on flats. But anyways, yeah. that's probably where you're warming up anyways. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So yeah, uh, that's a good yeah. example there. If you like this video, make sure you give us a thumbs up. If you didn't like this video, you can give it a thumbs down, but let us know what you would have done differently in the comments below. If you want to see more of these videos, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you want to become a faster cyclist, check out trainerroad.com. Do it. If you think I have better hair than Jonathan, give it a thumbs up. If not, leave a comment. My hair is better than his.